And we are drinking in the basement. What's your problem? We're I don't like sitting next to you in a pirate outfit. We're tasting rums today. This is my rum tasting outfit. No, spice rums. Spice rums, yes, we're tasting I don't spice like rums. sitting next to you in a pirate outfit with that little pointy thing on your eye. I'm sorry, but this is just the way I roll. All right. Anyway, so we have some... Uh, Bears win. won. Bears did win today. Barely. Barely. Uh, last second field goal. Um, so we ha finally have a sponsor. And he's with us today. And he's going to be doing a... Or a tip of the show. A tip of the show. Tip and we're going to get to that in just a second. First, we have coming up at the store... Spirit tasting Next Spirits. Saturday, November 3rd. No, this coming Saturday, well, November next. 3rd, next. 1 to 5 p.m. We'll have all kinds of spirits there, probably 40 plus. We'll also have the top 10 wines from our wine tasting from, a, what was it, uh, two weeks ago? Do you know what they are yet? Uh, Larry does, but I don't. Okay. Uh, and then December 8th, we have our holiday tasting, which will have a bunch of champagnes and a bunch of wines for the holidays, December 8th, 1 to 5 p.m. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Maybe one of these we can be there live. Baseball is over with. No more baseball games, no more flag football games. We still have hockey. Uh, anyway, we're going to get right now to our tip of the show. It's sponsored by Wirtz Beverage, and we have Matt, our, um, well, he was our, sal he was our salesman, but he's been promoted, so now he's, uh... Do we have to be behave better now that we're sponsored? We'll just call him here directly. Do we have to behave better now that we're sponsored? Uh, no. Okay, can we behave worse? Do we have to behave better, Matt? No, absolutely not. All right, great. All right, so we're going to bring Matt in. Yeah. I'm going to... Take this off so I can see, see. him get up without falling down. All right. Thanks for coming, Good to Matt. see you. Good to see you. Here, have a seat while you give the tip of the, <laughs> tip of the show. Absolutely. So, as you know, a lot of times, uh, as I'm in your account or, you know, out to restaurants with people, uh, the number one question I get asked is, what do I pair a particular dish with? That seems to be on everybody's mind. Um, <coughs> for me, you know, obviously, you want to pair proteins with, with the light color generally is the, the best example to give. Did, did so you bring us food? food? <laughs> no. <I'm just> <laughs> uh, if you're having a chicken dish, you know, you're probably better off pairing it with a white, you know, yep. something more heavy. You want to pair with a heavier bodied one. Uh, but for me, <clears throat> the ultimate best tip I can give is when you're not sure what to pair with a dish, let's say you have Thai food or something like that, I always recommend Prosecco. Uh, Prosecco to me is like the uh, beer of champagnes in that it goes with absolutely everything. Um, the Prosecco of choice for me is Lamarca Prosecco. I sell it, but it's also the number one selling uh, Prosecco in the country. I know this. We have it stacked <laughs> to the store, and we sell a ton of it. Absolutely. Yep. Goes good with spicy food? What's, goes great with Thai yep. food. Goes great with, basically, if you don't know what to pair with a, a particular dish, mm -hmm. Prosecco is the perfect, okay. you know, go-to. The nice thing about it, too, is with the beautiful Tiffany blue package, you score a couple extra brownie points with the wife for, you know, bringing home some kind better, of stuff. Better yet, it comes with its own gift bag. I think Absolutely. we have a bunch of gift bags. In the oh, store it does? For a it. gift bag, really? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh very nice. Matt doesn't mess around. Very nice. <laughs> Perfect. So that's the drink in the basement tip of the week. So, um, thank you very much. <coughs> what did you do? I'm going to take this home with me. How do you know? Because I am. I'm going to have chili tonight for dinner. So you, might, you might have to beat Matt for it. Absolutely <coughs> not. I bet, I bet Matt has a few of those. Probably has more than one. <laughs> uh, so All right, okay. so we're ready to start tasting the rums. I'm back in costume. All right, I'm taking this off because I can't see anything upside <laughs> on. Um, all right, we're going to start. Wait, we got to show what we're tasting. Right, we're tasting, show what we're you, tasting. You explain it. I will bring it up. All right, we're going to start. These are blind. We don't know which of these is in which cup. So if, if you don't know what this one is, you've been living under a rock. All right, just for price points, Captain, Captain Morgan, fourteen ninety nine, fifteen ninety nine, to seven fifty milliliter that size bottle. Next one is Sailor Jerry. Sailor Jerry also fourteen ninety nine, fifteen ninety nine for a seven fifty milliliter. So when I came bottle. in earlier, it was interesting. We had this conversation before we started filming. Um, I wanted to have, I wanted to try some of these with Coke, Spice Rum and Coke. So I open up Sailor Jerry first. This is the Shellback. Shell also, $14.99, $15.99, And I was asked, why did you open that one first? And I said, because it has a woman on the bottle. Basically, just as simple as that. Admiral Nelson? Admiral Nelson sells for less. That's like $7.99, $8.99 for a 750 milliliter bottle. So lower price, better hangover? I don't know. We'll find out. And then we have uh, Lieutenant Dan. Lieutenant Dan, also $7.99, $8.99 for that size. And then we have the Kraken. Arg. Uh, that's about the same price point as um, the first few, fourteen ninety nine, fifteen ninety nine for a seven fifty milliliter bottle. So why is so? I'm assuming there is a definite um, all right, let's get to pirate the theme. Hold on, pirate theme of these uh, spice rums. But they're all Caribbean rums, right? Absolutely. We don't have all day. 
Why are you in such a hurry? So this is, do I look at the numbers? No. no. I don't look at the numbers. This, this is, is number one for us. Okay, number one for us. It's very light in color. Light. Caramel nose. Yeah, fruity. Uh, that one. Yeah. Uh, sweet. <coughs> sweet and sugary. Yeah. Yep. It tastes like brown, you know what it tastes like? Brown sugar. Yeah. Which one's mine? A light brown sugar. Am I number two? Uh, yeah, you're the middle one. The middle one? Okay. Case, you want to go back to it. So brown sugar. All right. Number one. First one is Two. brown sugar. Two. Really good vanilla nose on this one. Yeah, this is oh, better, yeah. better definitely nose vanilla. It's got like vanilla in the flavoring too. Pretty it's good. a little. Yeah. It's good. I like this one better. It's not overwhelming with vanilla though. No, I like the, I like this one better. Whatever it is. A little bit. A little bit. Um. More burn on the start, but it's it's better than the first one. Definitely better than the first one. But brown sugar, vanilla. All right. Similar. These all, so far, they all look the same. I don't get anything on the nose. I get no nose. I get no nose, no nose, no taste. Nothing. No Nothing. nose, no taste. It tastes like gasoline. That's pretty no, bad. I don't taste like gasoline. It's got almost no taste. To me. No, it tastes like kerosene gas. It, it's like something you cook food with. All right. Not good. All right. So two is still the best. Oh, that's pretty rough. That's harsh. Yeah, yeah, it's got a bad. The third one's it's harsh. Got, it's got a little a bad uh, back end to it. Back end, that's harsh. Ooh. Kind of a floral nose this one. Mm, I kind of like the nose this one too. I like this sweet. One. So brown sugar, vanilla, gasoline, <coughs> and a um, little sweet. Just a little sweet on it. That's really about it. This one's almost a little too sweet. Actually, I like this one too. Yeah. So it's uh. I still like two. The mine, best. Mine are, one. Mine are two and four. I like them both. All right, two, one, four, three was bad. Ten, two, four, one, three. Three. Um, well, I like the after, I like the uh, back end of this one. A little bit sweet. It's the floral. Yeah. Floral. Floral back end on this one. Well, oh, we know, know what this one is. I can I can I can tell this one by the color. Yeah, this is the kraken. Yes, this is obviously gonna be the kraken. <coughs> you know, I something I still have some burn from number three. Three was rough. <laughs> three was three was rough. We'll see what that one is. Um, like I said, uh, lower the price, higher the hangover. I'm going to go with, uh, what's the, Admiral Nelson on that one? Real heavy oak. Yeah, I like the crack. So, I like it, but it's, it's strong. It definitely is strong. So I can you, want to be it's drink. almost more whiskey. I don't want to be we talked about this before right. we started. Can you talk about a little bit about the barrel and the whiskey the trend, and the trend here the trend a little bit? Whiskey. Uh, basically, with rum, rum's the third biggest category in, in liquor behind vodka and whiskey, okay. but it's consumed primarily between people 21 and 25, so it's a younger person drink. That's me. What companies have realized. Yeah, right. <laughs> That's or me. people going after 21 to 24 year olds. That might be yeah. you. Oh, that <laughs> there we go. There we go. Edit that part out. So, <laughs> with that, a lot of companies have recognized that they want to keep people in the category longer and mm -hmm. not, not get people switching to whiskey, so they started making rums that are a little bit more geared toward the whiskey drinker. Kraken oh. would be kind of, you know, in that vein. Something a little bit more heavy in the oak, you know, something a little bit more substantial, less sugar. There has been so are these aged? Is that <coughs> aged longer? Yeah. There has been. Oh, so it's, it's just been aging process in barrel. Make it that dark. And We're selling a lot burnt. more like the bourbon and stuff like that That's than we ever used to. Right now, the, the two hottest segments are craft beers and bourbon whiskey. Really? All right. Yeah. Really? So, okay. I don't like this one. I really just like the second one and the last one. Yeah. That's bad. Ooh, all right, bam. all right, so let's find out. We, um, all right, so uh, we all, I liked um, two and I like, four. I like two and four are my two favorites. You like two the best. I like two the best. So two uh, is. Two's my favorite. Two is number six. So if it's your favorite, uh, you must know. Is it really? Well, I didn't, I honestly didn't. <laughs> really, no, <laughs> these, these are blind. These are blind. Yeah. Two so, is number um, six, which was what? Number two oh. is show back Rome. Which Matt happens to sell us. This is wow. <laughs> I, seriously, I mean, I, I'm. I and mean, we only, I had, we only had to do this eight times to get it right. Yeah, right. No, I. Kidding, you know what? Kidding, honestly, kidding, no, honestly, kidding. I go in and order a, a Captain so, and Coke, so it's okay. Like, All right. So four is number two. What's number two? Four's number two. Number two is Lieutenant Dan's. Wow, Lieutenant Dan. I like Lieutenant Dan a lot too. I like either one of these. Okay. Um, Lieutenant Dan had a good floral nose. Yeah. But the real the, nice. Body was a little bit what sore. was number one? I thought one was not no, that bad. I, I would say one was my next one. One uh, was bad. Admiral Nelson. Admiral Nelson. The two least expensive. What was ones. the Hangover one that I we just yeah. said number three? Ed what was number three? We just didn't like number three. Three number we hated. Three was Captain Morgan's. 
Wow. That's not good. <laughs> uh, you know, word sells us Captain Morgan too. <laughs> <laughs> oh well, what can you do? That's okay, the way it goes. What can you do? Um, but the worst one was this one, to me. I, I, I just like three the most. Four. No, four was more harsh than uh, the other no, one. No, I mean, uh, yeah, three. Three. I three was harsh. Four was. I just like this. this they were equally bad. Four what was harsh too. Three and four were the were the two least favorite. What is, yeah. what is that one? Number four is actually Sailor Jerry, which I had never tried before. But I love the marketing behind it. I thought it was a really solid brand. This kind of and that's interesting sours because you said brand you a little bit. It yeah. was the brand you, you said, picked you up said, the six you, initially. To start, just have a rum and coke. And you said, you, and you said you, on the bottom. And you said you liked it. I would mix with coke. I did. All right. I guess we're uh, pretty much uh, done. So what was the number one? The number one. I'll bring up the camera again. Just show it. Number one was Hold on. Shellback. Okay. That was the number. That was the winner. Unanimous. You know, uh, you know, no, I, I, I like um, <laughs> Lieutenant Dan just as much. Okay. And then uh, we were talking a little bit about the Kraken. It just in terms, if you're a, a the Kraken was, was completely different. But 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 if you're a bourbon whiskey type of drinker, if, if, if this is your rum. That's that's your rum. That's what you want to buy. Gotta get home. All right. So, are we done now? Spirits tasting on November third. Some uh, winter holiday thing on December 8th. And Both from 1 to 5 p.m. Thank you to Wurtz Beverage for Thank you, Wurtz Beverage. Thanks to us. Matt for coming here uh, and helping us out. Our and tip of the show, and, and we'll have show. more of these coming. Right, it might be Matt, it might be Nick as well. Nick might be doing some of the yeah. tip of the shows. Nick works with uh, with, with Matt. So, and I think that's it. So right. I guess um, I can't uh, see. Where's number two? We'll have to drink, uh, and we have uh, we'll have drink, uh, five bottles of rum drip before the end of the day. So until, until next, next time, time, we, we are... are Arg! Drinking, Drinking in the basement. <laughs>